Welcome to the show, everybody. It's the Crypto Lark. Today, we're going to be talking about Deep Brain Chain, a neo based asset aiming to reduce the costs of artificial intelligence computing and provide AI solutions for businesses. We're going to be getting into just how Deep Brain Chain proposes to do that after a quick shout out to everyone who's been hitting that like button. And of course, everyone who's been subscribing to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you hit that button down below or the bell to stay up to date with all of the latest in the crypto space. Furthermore, this is of course not professional financial advice. This is just a dude talking about cryptocurrencies on the internet. Let's get into it. Now, quick shout out to the deep brain community. They have crushed the competition in the community coin vote this week. So well done for activating yourselves. Let's start off with the concept of artificial intelligence first. Isn't AI evil? Aren't they going to make those Terminator robots from the movies and come and destroy the world? We're all going to be in the Matrix in five years. Well, some people do really like to highlight the potential for technology to be used for evil. And yes, AI is going to be very powerful technology. You could look, for example, at rival states and criminals and terrorist organizations, or just very powerful nations using AI to do advanced hacking, persuasion, target identification. And that's just the start of the list of potential nefarious activities that AI might do, as well as being our eventual robot overlords, of course. I'm a little more optimistic on artificial intelligence technology personally. Here's a top 10 list of some interesting stats that I think are very positive for AI. AI is growing massively. 4 billion devices will carry AI-powered voice assistants this year. That number will hit 7 billion by 2020. The AI software market will be worth $60 billion by 2025. AI can help stop 86% of cyber attacks. I wonder if they factored in, of course, the AI that's going to be doing the cyber attacks. That'll be interesting to see how that plays out. 38% of jobs could be at risk by 2030 thanks to AI. If you're going to be put out of work by, by a computer or a robot, best to invest in the companies making those computers and robots so at least you have some money after you lose your job perhaps anyway next up ai will drive an increase of 14 percent or 15.7 trillion dollars in global gdp by the year 2030. that's a very interesting statistic 61 percent of top executives use ai to identify opportunities for their organization Insight-driven businesses will siphon $1.2 trillion annually from competitors. 30% of the business world will employ AI in at least one sales process by 2020. That's not that far from now. Over 1 billion AI-enabled video cameras will man cities around the globe by 2020. It's coming. And AI-powered autonomous vehicles could help save 300,000 lives on the road within a decade. That's amazing. That's amazing. There's, it's a big industry. It's growing rapidly. Technology has always been a double-edged sword for humanity, but I personally feel there's so much potential in AI in that all these companies, thousands of companies in the past few years, in fact, have been created focusing on AI, and we're going to see more and more coming. Thus, we enter the brain chain. Now, the thing to point out with Deep Brain Chain, they have a working product. This is an award-winning company. In fact, they are a pioneer in natural language processing. So they're an existing company with existing business, which looking around the crypto space sometimes is a bit of a novelty. So definitely worth pointing out. They're looking to create a global network of mining nodes to give computational power for a decentralized neural network. Cool. Essentially using all these global mining nodes to do the processing for training and for data for new AI processes. 
You're aiming for it to be cheap. So if you're a small or medium-sized company, or even if you're a big company, there is no need to buy lots of machines because other people have already invested in the machines and are renting them out. Of course, decentralization helps optimize the whole process and there will even be a big reduction in price or so the promises they're promising up to a 70 percent cost reduction using the dbc blockchain in order to do your ai computations it will also be private so they're going to be using encryption to make sure that this new ai data that you're generating doesn't simply get stolen by the mining nodes because that's a really big concern data ownership and usage will be recorded via the blockchain everything of course will be encrypted so you don't have to worry about that groundbreaking technology that you've just used all these global mining nodes to create being stolen they're aiming to have a very flexible system they want to really set up an ai ecosystem so we're going to see things like uh, container exchange, trading platform, data exchange platform, calculating trading platform, modeling exchange platform, and application exchange platform. So essentially, the trading of AI data, they want to set up really a data DEX, so a data decentralized exchange, where people can come in, they can buy data, that's already been produced by others, for example, or they can, of course, find computational power and run their own models, run their own training for the machines to learn. Now, the token will be used to pay the nodes. By the way, I think it's really interesting to point out that the team has a 10-year lockup on their tokens. So it'll be 10% every 10 years for the team. Anyway, essentially the token acts as a settlement layer within the DBC ecosystem. GPU mining will be the focus. 70% of the mining rewards will be in DBC tokens and 30% will be used for gas freeze. The nodes will be rewarded with fees. So this is actually a really great use for companies that have a lot of equipment but they don't use it 24 hours a day. They use it nine to five, or sometimes they run things overnight, but they have all these high powered computers sitting there that aren't necessarily running 24 hours a day, or at least aren't running at full capacity 24 hours a day. So this is a real great potential if you think about the whole globe and the different um, work systems around the world. There's a lot of potential here for a lot of unused computer space to being used very efficiently in its downtime to be computing for AI. 500 million DBC will be mined every year for the first five years. There'll be a max of 10 billion tokens, but it's gonna take quite a long time to get there. So that's definitely something that's worth pointing out. They will have masternodes. So we don't have the details on how many coins you're gonna need for a masternode and what kind of returns those are gonna be for masternodes, but they will happen. So if you want to get a DBC masternode, start accumulating now. Having a look at the team, first we have Feng, he's the CEO. He's behind the development of an AI voice assistant, which has more than 17 million users in China. We have Chang Shu, he's the CTO. He's the director of the AI lab in Shanghai. That's just the tip of the iceberg of these guys' experience. A lot of the other team members also have very stellar um, biographies. That being said, the team at this point is rather small. We see, for example, we're missing some, some really key people as far as it's, when it comes to marketing. For example, yeah, we have uh, Chuan Feng Li, he's the marketing guy, but we really need some more people on board here to get the message out. This would be one thing where I think DBC really needs to put in some serious effort and funding is in their marketing to get their message across. In fact, they could really do with a new website too. They've got this whole autoplay video thing, which doesn't really play well, I think, with most audiences. Not to mention that's a bit short on concise information. It's something to think about anyway. Taking a look here at the roadmap, 
I really like the roadmap actually. We've got a lot of specific things that they're trying to do. You can see they're really aiming for getting that global audience going. They're trying to build communities around the world. They're trying to get out and do blockchain summits, which is fantastic. We're gonna see alpha and beta tests coming in quarter two, which is very good. Uh, the mining will be up in quarter three. So that'll be not just the mining, but of course the reward system as well. So really we should see the main iterations of DBC by quarter three, or at least by the end of quarter three this year, which is very exciting. There are a lot of AI projects right now coming to the blockchain space. We have three upcoming ICOs, Effect.ai, ORS, and Invasio. They are all AI blockchain projects. Most of them are already big operational companies. We already have another very popular one as well, Singularity Net. Now, if we look at Singularity Net, perhaps versus DBC, look, Deep Brain Chain, it's already active largely. We've got a, a big company behind it, but we also got a big company behind Singularity Net. They're both doing active things in the AI space. You might look that one thing Deep Brain Chain is perhaps more focused on, though, is the computational angle, whereas Singularity is more focused on the marketplace angle. Lots of different roads all leading to a similar destination. Now, of course, you might want to consider companies like Microsoft and Google. Currently, their prices aren't very competitive. Decentralization should offer the possibility to have uh, lower prices because of your spreading the network around to idle computer space, for example. But nevertheless, that's some pretty serious competition to be going up against. Not to mention, of course, there are so many non-blockchain-based AI startups. These are just the top 100 companies leading the way in AI. This is not accounting, of course, for the other thousands of companies that are being involved in AI. So DBC has a lot of competition. In fact, all the companies I just mentioned have a lot of competition, and it is a massively growing space, and it's growing rapidly. When you look at, for example, the fact that DBC has NEO as an investor and they have NEO as a backer, that is fantastic. And yes, we already have clients with Deep Brain Chain, but I think we really need to see some big level partnerships coming through here in order to really secure their place here in the future. That's the one thing that Singularity Net's been doing very well, nailing partnership after partnership after partnership after partnership in the blockchain space. NEO is an awesome partnership for DBC to have, but they can't be a one trick pony. They've got to get more big partnerships than that moving forward. Another thing to perhaps think about is the actual technical viability of deep brain chain. You know, will it actually play out efficiently on the blockchain? Will it work as they plan it to work? Obviously, we have a very skilled group of people here trying to put this all together. So I feel like the answer is yes, but nevertheless, we have to actually see the blockchain iterations of this coming out and that won't be for a few more months. And of course, what about scaling if we have massive amounts of machine to machine transactions going on, will it be able to scale effectively? Now, Deep Brain Chain went way up shortly after it came onto the market. We got all the way up to 64 cents. And then down we went. And in fact, now we are all the way over here at eight cents. That is a massive, massive drop about 85% down on the recent all-time high. Now, this is a project that has got a lot of legs, to be honest. AI projects are going to be big, and even though there's a lot of competition, they've got a really good backer in NEO. They've got the right idea as far as trying to offer this computational power marketplace. So we'll see if they can come back up big time. If you're looking to get in, now's probably not a bad time. If you could pick it up for any less, that would of course be ideal, but I feel like this has got a lot of upward potential. 
and that we will see DBC recover as we exit this bear market in the future. If you do want to pick yourselves up some DBC, Huobi, KuCoin, Gate.io, probably Huobi or KuCoin would be the best place to go and pick it up. Anyway, guys, I want to know, what do you think about Deep Brain Chain? Do you like the idea? Do you think that they can overcome the wide range of competition out there? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Long live the blockchain, and peace out till next time.